The three stars from tonight's game, Jake Allen, 39 saves. Number one, Chris Stewart with a big game, a couple of goals as well. And uh, Chris Porter got his first, turned out to be the game-winning goal. And you can just throw Barrett Jackman right in that mix if you want to, because I thought he had a heck of a game on the blue line. He would be the fourth star, according to Darren Pang. Let's hear from the head coach, Ken Hitchcock, as we head downstairs. He spoke to the media a short time ago. Uh, he's upper body injury. We'll have more evaluation on it tomorrow. So he uh, will give you a better report sometime around noon tomorrow. Let you know. What did you take out of this game tonight? Uh, we played with a lot of heart. We hit the wall. Uh, we knew we were going to hit the wall. We kind of thought it might be a little later, but played a great first period, one of the best periods we've played. And... Uh, couldn't extend the lead to make them come at us a little bit harder. And then once they got a beat on us in the second period, I didn't think until uh, I thought they really had a beat on us in the second period. And then once we settled down, played in the third, up, other than when they got the power play there at the end, I thought we were really uh, controlling it and playing well. I thought the third period we were really playing well, but they're just a huge team. I mean, they're a huge team. Uh, you know, they play Burns up front. It's just size and weight coming after you every shift and I thought for what we had and the way we managed it we did a great job but we needed the goalie in the second period came through for us and uh, you know we needed our best players to be our best players Stewie gets two today Bacchus was a horse Bourbon was a horse we're missing five forwards almost half your hockey club and still we get the win it's a good sign you can high on the quarter. how big was his goal at the end of the period? it was huge I mean it gave us the breathing room that allowed us to play the way you needed to play. When you got no when you hit the wall, you got no legs, you gotta manage the game the right way. And we just you know the schedule is is what it is, but this is extremely difficult. When you play when you play the amount of game, this is seven this is seven games in twelve nights with a lot of time travel. And it's a very, very difficult schedule. I've never seen a schedule this difficult ever. And uh, we still managed to, to come out of this thing okay. So Hitch talking about a, an obviously rough stretch for the Blues, saying that they hit the wall in the second period. He knew they would at some point, but he said they played with a lot of heart. I would say that's a fair assessment. you got to play with gumption. If you don't have hey. gumption, you can't play this game. You have to sometimes grunt through it. You've got to find a way to make it happen. That's why we have a goaltender in hockey. That's why in hockey sometimes it's not fair, too. The second period, I mean, Jake Allen, he didn't have to stand on his head and spit out wooden nickels, but he had to make the saves you're supposed to make. And, you know, I like what Hitch said. In that third period, they regrouped a little bit. They got things going. And until the PK, um, then obviously San Jose... I mean, got right back into this game, and they played hard, San Jose did. But what I liked about what Hitch said is, we have horses that play the game. He said we had two horses out there, two Clydesdales. Bacchus, Bacchus was one of them. From Anheuser-Busch, that's what we had. Huh? <laughs> Here's something else. We'll have more from Panger when we come back.